Hello everyone, teacher Jackie here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm in between classes, so I need to do this like in like a couple minutes. What to do when you have a trouble student? You know what? The best thing is to just keep going. Don't get mad as much as you want to go, hey, your student isn't listening, your student isn't talking, your student isn't repeating, your student's taking a toy and hitting the the uh, camera because it's I just, just was in a class, and this kid was doing great. He had his brother's mom and whole full house. I was teaching a whole full house about five slides in. Then, all of a sudden, everyone leaves. So it's just me and the student. So I'm like, um, this is a car or whatever it said. And he just is like playing with a toy. I'm like, should I contact the fireman? What do I do? And he's just, you know. And I'm like, tong tong, you know, it's his name. And I'm like, I get my bear, I get my puppet. Did he fall on the ground? I get my, hey, tong tong, hey. I tried everything because there's stuff we learned to do with a distracted student. I'm doing this, I'm doing everything. I put on the AR stickers, there's these um, augmented reality thing, turns me into a clown, turns me into a pig. Well, a pig because it's the year of the pig. Please don't think that VIP kid thinks their teachers are pigs. It is the year of the pig. All right. So I'm doing everything. Doing it. Finally, I'm just sitting there. And he's just like, bum, 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 bum. He's hitting with these balloon things. And I just sit there. I'm like smiling because if they look at this, and I typed, um, um, Oh, so when he hits it, it goes away. It takes him offline. I think he totally knocked it out of uh, the internet. I, th I thought it was a tablet, but anyway, he's offline. So I'm saying that I typed waiting for a student to come back online because of stuff you want, you want a paper trail. So I typed that and then I said, still waiting. And I'm over here actually on my other screen. I guess I'm high. Uh, doing feedback. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, catch up on feedback while I'm waiting for this kid to come back. I decided not to contact the fireman. I decided to sit there and just document that I'm waiting for him to come back online. Um, I didn't put on there just student behavior. We do have a code for student behavior. And all of a sudden, the new classroom refreshes into the old classroom. So I thought, okay, the student's coming back. We're on the old classroom. Let's get this going. Well, it says nobody is here. That clearly means the student's not logged on or anything. This eyelash and so all of a sudden I thought well I better contact the fireman at this point so I click on contact and clicked I can't see the student well it says no one's here so clearly I can't see them but that's the best one to pick well after doing that the fireman types in there they have lost their network connection or instable network connection the class is canceled so I actually ask do I do feedback because at this point he had earned two stars and I didn't know what to say. So on my other screen, I quickly refreshed the booking page and it showed it was canceled. So it's done. No need for feedback. Just want to let you know, keep your cool. Keep your cool. Where's my cool? I have to get to my classroom. Keep your cool when a student acts crazy or is troubling or leaves. But know some procedures on how to handle that. I hope this was helpful for current teachers. And if you're a prospective teacher, comment below or click my link. I'd love to help you get hired. I, in fact, I just signed my contract number two and I couldn't be happier. I have to go to class. Happy teaching.